So, Andrew. Mate, I should be on the box today. You catching all these fishes on Magawats. It is. We actually, finally, the weather's changed a little bit, hasn't it? Well, Robin, Robin really got took me out. Robin then, mate. <laughs> and we get to do some fishing. Yes. So, we are at the lovely Western Pools on Jack's Pool. Oh, mate, which is somewhere you? that we, this is our second attempt, we must admit. We had a, an attempt last week that was very much aborted due to the Arctic conditions. We did all right on that thing that moves all day, didn't we? Yeah, that river thing was <laughs> <Did> solid. <all. laughs> yeah. But... I was lacking on this one. So we've come back today, much, much better weather. And what we want to talk about is following on from the, the regular month thing that we've just done about fishing uh, with maggots on a longer line. So that's what we've come to do today. It is the, the perfect time of year to fish a nice long line, yeah. sort of. We're going to be like, I mean, not your short line that is conventionally fished at, at your F1 venues. Fishing a bit longer, like 13 metres, where you're going to feed it with a catapult. And it's got that scope to drag in everything. Hasn't and you're it? gonna you can potentially catch all day on it. Oh, literally. That, that's what we're trying to do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah. A, you would feed something else, of course you would in a, in a normal situation, but this is focusing on that one line and just showing the versatility by having um, a different rigs for, for catching fish at different points, just how you can keep fish coming. It, it really is incredible sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, and it'd be interesting for all you lovely lot to see how he changes, when he changes, you know, when he starts missing these little dinky bites, might be fishing on the bottom, uh, what he does different, comes up in the water, puts her through the water rig on, yeah. or still missing bites, might hook his maggot a little bit different, you know what I mean? I'm proper, proper jealous, folks, because yeah. you know how much I love this style of fishing, <laughs> but I thought, no, Jay's got to have a go, I suppose, catching some silver fish. It'd be all right, I can do this, no pellets, but Mate, I can, you can do, do everything you make me sick man what, what we can do what i'm no pellets for actual no pellets whatsoever <laughs> what i'm looking forward to more than anything though as well is that with big doofer lens <laughs> you know, getting on beer. <laughs> um with the big doofer lens that rich has got yeah you're gonna see more than what i can see even but being that mainly because i'm blind Jamie, as a don't, bat. you've got your glasses on mate <laughs> but they will aren't they it's yeah i've just spoken about it with rich it's driving me mad in our videos how you can see these lovely little indications on that and we think we we've got it see. like proper dotted like it's a mill showing but like, when rich gets his big do front it's like a foot out of the water isn't yeah, it there's a lot of flow but you can just you're going to be able to see better than us and it's seeing them little indications that with this maggot lark mm. that's what make you change isn't it 100 percent. yeah so hopefully we're gonna have a little go with that we're gonna talk about it first in fact no we're going to talk about it straight away instead of having an intro go ahead what, what we thought I've, I've had to have a little go you know what i mean we fed some baits because how crap it was last week <laughs> want to put some bait in to make we sure, to make sure some fish. Mate, yeah yes so i can't show the the initial start of a peg because i'm just going to go in i'm going to get a bite straight away but the way i'd want to start a peg is just with a pot I mean, you start with just a pot. Tapping a few maggots in. Yeah, tapping, sprinkling, that can play a big, big part, can't it? Using yeah. sprinkle pots just to maintain accuracy. Yeah, that's never, ever going to stay all day, though. Not with this sort of fishery where we're catching roach, skimmers, pit. We're catching everything. There's a lot of fish in the peg. If it was just F1s, then it'd be different because they yeah, would yeah. stay on the bottom and you'd be yeah. able to keep on tapping with a maggot. Mm. But that's not what I want to get into today. Cat today, cat it's about being out, attacking that peg, isn't it? Because hopefully what's going to happen, it, it hasn't yet. We've had a play. And we've caught lots of small fish with the odd eyed and odd, do you know what I mean? Not many bonus fish turning up just yet. But this is the best method in the world for, for progressing. And it fits perfectly into this time of year when it's that February, March, maybe even into mm. April. When we've said it loads and loads of times, it's crap to begin with. Yeah. You really struggle to get fish that yeah. first few hours. Whereas the back end of your match or your pleasure session, whatever, it's like summer. Yeah. And you're fishing, it's unbelievable, isn't it? And fishing maggots let you do that. They let you begin really negative, but they have the scope to attack it with a catapult and really, really attack it. And you can use different rigs to catch them fish when they really, really do start having a chew, yeah, isn't it? Definitely, 100%, mate. Yeah, so good. So that's what we're going to on with. So at the minute, I'm, I'm on to the catting point. I've started cupping. I think we cupped, I got a bite straight away, didn't I? Let's leave first time, cupped in, caught little fish. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much more about it. So we, we've cupped in and I've got cattails straight away. So the peg at the minute is at the point where we're catting bait and the fish are on the bottom. I'm catching a few on the bottom, but we're going to go in, see what's happening, and hopefully I'll be able to show you the changes and, and show you what rigs we swapped to throughout. And then he's going to give me a go later on, folks. Yes, you can have a go in a bit. Get gloves on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I to. Yeah, I'll <laughs> sanitise, folks. Don't you worry. <laughs> so as I said, we're at the point the pots have well and truly been ditched. I've taken my pots off because the way we're fishing, it's speed fishing. I want to catch fish very, very, very quickly. And I don't feel it's not nice with a pot. I mean, I like it without a pot. It feels you can go a lot quicker. I always up my keep net when I'm coming back, folks. You know what I mean? When to you lay your rigging like that. Oh, no, I'm up my keep net again. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm past that point. I mean, I've, I've had a play in the peg. There's lots and lots of little fish there feeding. So I know I can attack it. I fed five or six or 20 times with a catty. And they're happy. I mean, there's lots of fish feeding. And they don't mind spreading that bait out because I've got a lot of fish in me swim. Lots of small fish. 
So what I'm going to begin with is my positive rig. And this is going back to the rig of the month or the, the rig video that we've done on this specific type of fishing. And I'm going to my rig that is on the deck. Nice positive one. Yeah, it's the bulk and two droppers or three droppers if I want to bring that one down that gets down. There's no messing about because I want to catch them bigger fish on the bottom because what's been happening is that the little fish have been intercepting me baked on the way down. It seems to be a lot of little roach really high up in the water and I want to give myself a better chance just until the peg changes. I want to get through them and hopefully catch a few bigger fish on the bottom, which is a bit weird because I'm expecting when the bigger fish really rock up for it to be the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, so, uh, what drop has you got on, Jay? Tens? Three tens, yeah, three number tens. Three I've got tens, a, so bulk of nines, straight down. six nines, and then three number ten droppers. Well, the, the, two number ten droppers, one of them's within me bulk. Yeah, but boy. I can happily bring that down nice. if, if I need to. I'll say it's no It's lovely and positive, isn't it? It's nice and positive. No messing. So, another thing with this that's definitely worth talking about is the length that you fish. In it, because you're feeding maggots with a catty, yes. do not try and go too far. Maggots no. literally do not feed accurately past it's 13, that, but also 14 meters isn't it when you're getting a load of bites as well jay you want to be quick and efficient don't you so you don't want to really go past 13 meters no it, it needs to be a nice line doesn't it that Look you that. can that that is an awesome grouping that mate yes it keeps it nice doesn't it but if you, as soon as you try and push it with maggots yeah like you've got me sexy maggots today we've got big dave's the middle which massive maggots that want to fight us before we put them on the up unbelievable and they help it definitely a little thing that is really worth doing is getting some good maggots for doing this just so it allows you to Dink them, it? to keep it, yeah, definitely. So that we'll lifter, go ahead, Jay, give it a big one. Go on, mate. What's the little diddy fish like? As I said, at the minute, the peg. But it doesn't matter, does it? It's all about catching fish, getting bites, putting them in your net. Just being matter. efficient, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind catching them. If I can catch ten pound of them in the first couple of hours with the odd bonus chucked in, I'm absolutely flying. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to have three or four casts really quickly with this rig, and just see how efficiently I am, both with hooking me bites and how quickly the bites are coming and then what I might do is swap to me falling through the water rig just to see if there's any bigger fish what, what are you going to be like for different for different change baits like white magua you know I love a white maggot for like hides and yeah. chubs and that would you do that or I don't, you've got confidence in those, if I'm you? dead honest I literally just swap between double and single you know I mean? a bit more selective I'll put a double on yeah and if I just if the, I'm happy with what fish are in the peg I'll oh, just put a single on me you see, I'm getting indications really quick every cast. That one fell off. That was a little it fell fish. off. But with double maggot, big on me, Andrew. Yes. See, they're coming nice and quick. But I'm not happy yet with what fish I'm catching. But I think that's because it's early in the day. I'm, I'm terrible for it. I don't know about you. But being impatient, impatient wanting to catch big fish straight away. You've got and to let it develop, haven't you? It's one of the... You have, Jay, and obviously we are impatient because we're match anglers, but the thing about it is um, we know, we've been fishing long enough, we know eventually them bigger fish will turn up. Yes. Won't they? Yeah. It, it's, it's almost guaranteed. They always do. It's amazing how much weight it costs you trying to catch them bigger fish as well when... Yeah. You just you take your brain out, isn't it? As long as you... you how many the times changes? have we done it come off uh, catching one of Chuck to like try and target the bigger fish and it like, it just goes against you so many times. You yeah. think you're miles behind and you're not high at the end of the session. No, just, just let match, it right? develop on its own. Like you see, with Rich's Doofer, he'll be able to see more than more than us. That's That'll be moving all the time with little... Yeah. I mean, that feels like it's held up a little bit. It does, doesn't it? But you can tell it, it's, there's non-stop fish in me peg, which with maggots, they're, they're the worst bait for the fish wanting Percy to intercept the perches them. on that, Jay. You haven't it? I'm, oh, he's let go. <laughs> I've had a few little perches, haven't we? You see with that rig, see how fast it's in? There's no messing about with it. It's settled down, in, it? do you know what I mean? Five or six seconds, it's on the deck, done, I'm fishing. Whereas the other rigs are completely different. They have a lot longer, but I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Oosh, so cute you know, I'm, not bad, I'm not happy. You're yeah, not happy with them? I'm being Mate. pussy. Fish, the I bites, just don't feel like come I'm on. Being quick. I think the other thing as well, though, we've got to touch on how cold it has been for two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's been like 15 feet of ice on all these lakes. The fish are absolutely starving. They've been not fed for ages, so no. obviously you're going to get everything feeding, aren't you? Yes, and looking at the conditions, it, it's, I've just mentioned to Rich before, Steer spoke to me, mate, he's got a fishery. And he mentioned all the little fish are feeding on his. Which is because it's warmed up, all the little fish wake up quicker, don't they? Yeah, definitely. And in turn, they want to feed off the bottom, they're the fastest to get to your bait. So they're going to be first in on the scene and they can cause a bit of a problem. So at the minute, we're just keeping it nice. I'm just shipping out, feeding me bait and seeing what indications I'm getting. I'm, I'm deliberately feeding on top of my float yeah. to see what's happening. 
You can see that one's all over the place, isn't it? Yeah. It's lifting up, going all so silly. You, you know the fish are coming into that bait, don't you? And you can yes. tell that by your float. Yes, but tiny. Yeah. I mean, really, really little. Not the fish I want to catch. So what I'm going to do, already, so that was my bulk and dropper rig. Yeah. I'm going to swap to my 4B12s rig, which is a much, 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 much slower fall. Same depth, Jay, yeah? Yeah, same depth, exactly the same depth. So both of them plumb to the middle of my body. And this time, we're going to kill it. And we're going to hook it in the middle. Just to get it to, to sink nice and slow. And I'm going to see if the bigger fish want to be off bottom. Yeah. Even though it's only, what, three and a half, four foot, there's a very good chance that those fish, the, the, the larger fish, will be intercepting my maggots before the little fish get to it. Or they just don't want to be on the bottom, maybe. Well, they've been, they've been on the bottom all winter, haven't they? They're getting leeches. Oosh, go on, lad. Getting leeches in all sorts. Mate, it's one of chucks. See, it's nice and fast, isn't it? We're catching lots and lots and lots of fishies. But whether it's efficient enough, I say it only takes three or four fish. And look at this normally, because I don't feel like we need to side hook it. Not for these little fish. That was quick as well, wasn't it? It's just a bit faster, wasn't it? That's what I mean. It's... We're just working out all the time the quickest, most efficient way to catch them. Yes. Yeah, it might only be three or four seconds of cast, but that, do you know what I mean? In a hundred casts, it doesn't have add up. Yeah. So it's about not missing the indications. The other oh. one's going all the time. Whereas this one, it settles, goes under, and I'm straight back with a fish. Yeah. So in the time it takes me to catch four on the other one, I catch really? five on this. Yeah, it's awesome. It's little tiny things, but. It's in. It's in. It's in how it all adds up. It's just. They're getting bigger. It's reading, isn't it? It's reading. Reading yeah. the swim. It's With, without trying, you'd never know. No. But if, if I'd have gone into this and had three casts of mystery bites, I'd have been straight off it. Yeah, yeah. I say it's just, again, that efficiency is absolutely everything. But the, the peg changes so, 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 so much. We're definitely at the, we're at the beginning of it where there are a lot of little mouths in the peg. And what should happen with a bit of luck. See, it's just, everyone's a bite, isn't it now? Yeah. Instead of watching that float move all over the place and not catching one. Yeah. I'm coming back with a fish. Nailing it. And now that I've searched both my rigs, look his little head then, he's not your roach. Now that I've searched both of my rigs, I'm happy there's no big fish in my peg just yet. Yeah. So they'll give no... themselves away, would not they? Of course they will. They'll... Yeah, you might, all you need to do is hook one. Yeah. Or maybe foul hook one. Do you know what I mean? Obviously you don't want to foul hook them, but so often, with this rig in particular, you'll foul hook one half depth. Yeah. And when you do, you pick up that, that third rig that we've got, I mean, a lovely little 4B8 shallow rig. Yeah, boy. And it can be absolutely incredible, but you don't need to do it until you see something no. happen. Yeah. So to be honest, we, we know we catch on that one now, but it's pointless doing it yet, isn't it? I, I think we just catch little fish on it. Yeah, I'll do. But I'll still give it a go in a minute. But I'm happy with this. That was, I mean, four fish in, in what? A minute and a Quick. bit? Two yeah. minutes? Yeah. Three fish? Four fish? Don't know. But. So was the experiment, Joe, with like, Feeding first yeah. and then shipping out over it. Sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. That's the next thing to focus is that on. What you do when you're on that shallow rig? Once you once you've got your rig sorted and you're happy with yeah, um, your rig being as efficient as possible, the right rig for the situation. The next thing is timing of your feed oh. is absolutely everything, isn't it? Yeah. Like sometimes feeding, shipping out, feeding on top of it's the best. Yeah. Other times hooking your fish, feeding's the best. Yeah, it's working out, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, isn't it? It's... So obviously you're going to be taking note now with Mr. Bite, it could have been potentially fish up in the water, line even shallower, yeah? Definitely. You're going to be taking note of all these things, folks, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that occurred, that fish, um, that, that miss bite occurred the second I'd fed. Whereas yes. where I hadn't fed then, yeah. I get a bite and it's in the gob. Yeah. Like that. So it might mean that I need a little bit more time in between feeding and putting my rig in, and that gets me a bite. I mean, it almost contradicts the efficiency thing, but occasionally it can be worth sort of feeding now. You're using a lot of big words today, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Contradicts and deficiency. Well, it does. It does, but it, do you know what I mean by feeding now, yeah. the same as you would with hard pellets? Like this. Anything with a catty. Yeah. Excuse me, it can give that bait a little bit longer to get a bit deeper. Yeah. And in turn, a, a, like minimalise the line as a little bit. It's already coming into your peg, aren't they? Starting yeah, the, to feed. They're straight in it, aren't they? The yeah. maggots are the Beach. worst. That was better. Oh. No miss, bite, bite, straight Lovely. back. So that's nice and efficient. So I'd stick with this rig now that's, for a bit. That's a bit chunky. That's chunky. Bit bigger, isn't it? Chunky roach. Chunky roach. <laughs> Lovely. lovely 
But to changing that feed, and I actually quite like that then, the feeding just before I went out. So although you feel that you, you feel you're slowing know, yourself down. It does feel slower, but reality is, if you go in that quick when you catch one, it's quicker overall, isn't it? Yes. Is that a big tip? I forget who gave it me, but it might have been you, Andrew. Possibly. But someone said to me years ago, the thing with silverfish as well, or with maggots, is making sure you only strike at proper bites as yeah, well. It's, you get so many indications and you can be you can be busy fool, can't you? Yeah. So, oh, this is so two better. Is that a nid? No, a little foul up. Is it a thing. roach? A little roach, but in the bottom. Is it foul out? It's foul yes. off. But say so yeah, that's a sign I said my biggest yes. biggest fish I've hooked in in this little period. I think he was foul up. My maggot had it folded over. Folded over. But the, the biggest fish I'd hooked. So if we get a few more of them, it's time to potentially go. Yeah, it's, it's have a little bit shallow. What was that? No, it wasn't a fish, was it? Was it a moorhen? No, just something dropping out tree. Squirrel dropping out tree. Squirrels! Well, oh, Andrew. Has your maggot been burgled already? It fell off. A little perch has burgled his magawa on the way out, folks. Oh, well, you got two boozards, look. Oh, we, we didn't do the bird today, oh, did three. we? Three. Three of them. Three boozards. Three boozards. I was going to go with Jenny Wren today. Well, let's have Jenny Wren. We can throw him in. Yeah, let's Loves have... of robins. Let's have Jenny Wren there. Yeah, Jenny Wren. That's the, the bird to see today. So I've lost track of it. Right, what point are we at? So yeah, you're feeding. So playing about at what point you introduce your feed. I wouldn't advise with small fish. I'm not... Uh, go on, mate. Yeah, go on, carry on. and then feed. Just because it's hard to keep a, a tight line and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You want to be nice and, and efficient when you have hooked one. Eesh. Just get that line straight out the peg. Yeah, so and good, it's not it's tight good, enough to, to feed now, is it? No. So I don't want to be doing that with tiny fish. No, you can do quickly. that with bigger ones that keep the weight on the pole, can't you? Yes. You know what I mean? Halfway back. Yeah, I can't afford I've to notice as well, Jay, we've got the wind is coming right to left. You lay the rig in left to right, didn't you? Yes. Why aren't you laying it with the wind, mate? Because it always has to go upwind, because you, as it sinks, your float's going to get pushed to the left. In this case, yeah, it's, so it's the wind's right to left, time, you mean. it keeps a tight line all the time. Like that, mate. Because the other way, you get a slack point. And we See, go I, I, I always go the other way. Do you? Yeah. But, like, you hold it, though, I don't you? I hold it with them back shots, tip hexed out wide, don't I, mate? You know what I mean? Bit of fluff, bit of fluff. Bit of fluff. But, yeah, and I'll completely understand your way. That's, that's mint, that. So this yeah, time it like went that. down without getting eaten on the drop pad. That could be a sign that there's Chubs. a... Chubs. in peg. I'm going to go in next cast with a shallow rig. Are you going to do it? Yeah, we're going to go shallow. We're going shallow. You're going to put a white magwire on and everything. <laughs> Just obsessed with white maggots, aren't I? See how weird's that in that that one's settled and because nothing saw it falling through the water, it's taking so much longer to get a bite. Yeah. So on days like that, when that's happening, if I go and catch a great big fish now, great, that means the big ones are on the bottom um, and the little ones want to be above them. But what I'd expect it means today is that nothing wants to be on the bottom. No. Because we've had that massive cold spell moving into a warm spell, everything wants to be up on it. Yeah, 100%. So it is, it's no coincidence that, and you often find that with your bulk and dropper rig, your really positive one, it's great for catching small fish when they're in your peg and they're feeding on deck. See that on the drop then? Oh, wow. I'm going to catch a shallow here now. Just, it's just changed. I mean, just like that, my peg just changes. I've gone yeah. from efficient, putting six or seven fish in the net, to just sitting there, then missing a bite, and it Man. just goes scatty. Man, how quick it Think changes. missed another bite. And it's anglers like Jay, who are the quickest ones to read the pegs. That's why they catch most of the fish. Yeah, going so, in now, it, it would shock me one bit now to go in with shallow rig. Yeah. Yeah, my little 4 b 8s So what nice have you got, four, four 11s? Four number 11s, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, mate, this is going straight away. Are you feeling it? Yeah, 100%. So that's set at about... Just a bit more than half depth in it. Yeah. We've gone in about two foot with this one. Get ready. Id. Id straight away, folks. Never Get ready. Go on, the Ids. It's a really, really, really nice, sexy, slow fall on it. Oh, it's lovely. You liking that? Ooh, Doink. yeah, boy. But not a bigger fish, though. Boy, yeah, boy. Not a bigger fish, a little fish though, but we'll give it a couple of casts because say it's back into the oh, fish. Look at him, it's one of chuck, mate. We, we, we had like we had one of chuck since. Well, I've not had one of chuck since <laughs> last since summer. On the trout. Jamie caught one of chuck two, two weeks ago on, on the weir pool, didn't you? Not what one every other chuck. Alright, mate. 
Bit of slappage like as well. Bit We're not slappage. into summer yet, Jamie. Come on. Just keeps it tight, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, oh mate! Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at the size of that as well. Look at it. It's crazy. You He's just see the peg it. of change, doesn't it? That's nuts, isn't it? We knew. Is that the white maggot as well? No, I put a red oh. one. I nearly put a white one on for you. I put a white one in with it. Next cast, I put a white one on for you. Look at that for you. See what I mean? This this is why you know you've got to be in tune with it. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's, it's mad. Fishing it's the same line with three different rigs, yeah. and every rig has a completely different outcome. That is brilliant. That. Id. Yes, Jay. How clear, clear it is, it is well. man. Surprise, can't we will see him flashing later? Yeah, I think Definitely. so. Oh, you legend. Look at him, Rich. But that, that's what's that? That's five of the fish I've been catching. Yeah. And if I hadn't swapped at that point, just because of them couple of missed bites that looked a bit more positive. Second best in the world, isn't they? Second you want? best fish in the world. Got white one on. Do it, mate. Just for you. You watch this now. Never put white one on. Do you not like white? I, 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 I don't know. But you I always buy red and white maggots, though, don't you? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I, I only ever use them on like clearish waters. Yeah. Yeah. Love a white maggot, mate. I don't like that. That's nice. See that? I'm not slapping, turning the rig over for the, the noise effect. Oosh! I'm not bothered about oh. that one bit. It's just straightening my line out. It's, yeah. it's so much easier to turn your rig over and yeah. create a nice, nice tight line, isn't it? And a bit yeah, faster. Quicker, suppose. more efficient. But what I don't want to do, even though I've picked up my shallow rig, <laughs> even though I've picked up my shallow rig, yeah. I don't want to feed it like it's a shallow line. I'm going to keep it the same because there's no reason why I won't just catch no, two that's fish. it. I mean, you could potentially, you know, drop the feed a little bit, feed more often, try, try and bring them shallow, but it's pointless, isn't it? You're getting a bite of chalk, it's efficient. Well, I let them dictate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah, yeah. Instead of me controlling all them. It comes back to the beauty of using maggots. You, you can, can't you? Yes. You're not harming a peg in any way. Everything's going to eat them. Love it. White maggot, Jay. White oh, maggot. That caught big roach, that one. White maggot. Yeah, I think I'm doing another number three section. That one's looking a bit gnarly. Love a white maggot. The wind. I'm going to go downwind now. Go on, mate. You know the shinizzle. It's shallow now, so it doesn't. I think they're even a little bit shallower. Uh, uh, that, I, I think they? exactly that, yeah. Oh, go on. Big big chub helping that, Jay. Wasn't it? You're liking that. Chub pouch, that, mate. So on the robins. How many you feed? I think it's a case of working out how many lines you're looking after. If, if there's mouth shallow, yeah. then you need to feed an amount to keep them shallow. See, now I'm back on Miss Bite. Yeah. And if I catch a little diddy on this cast, yeah. I'll go back on deck. Yeah. Right, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I've probably caught the, the couple of problem fish, the bigger ones. The little diddy one? The little bobby one. It fell off. I'll give it a chance as it, as it fell off. It's them subtle, and I think experience comes into it a lot. But it's those subtle signs like that, like me saying that all of a sudden there's little fish in me peg. Yeah. That make you change. Yeah. I mean, I'm missing bites now. I've missed two, and I've caught a, a tiny fish. So whether that's because me maggots turned over with that little fish, or whether it is because the little diddy ones, I'll find out when I come in. But if I miss another one now, or catch a tiny. <gasps> one, oh, white no. maggot, folks. No, we we'll go back oh, in. Oh, <laughs> Jamie, you ain't going nowhere, boy. No, we we'll go back in on that. Yeah, boy, that you is staying right there. <laughs> In fact, you was getting off your box and giving me a go. <laughs> I've got my gloves in the van. <laughs> yeah. That sounds wrong, that, doesn't it? Got my gloves in the van. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're all, we're all mates, aren't we, us three? <laughs> oh, oh look at that, Jay. You convinced you like Magawars, mate, or what? I don't know, we caught one on both now, haven't we? Oh, yeah, go on then, I'll let you off, I'll let you off. Well, I don't think that? it matters, folks, to be fair. It's confidence, innit? Yes. It comes down to it. But look at that. Well, oh, so the, the difference Jamie. it makes, innit? That, that's just doubling my weight. Yeah. Two mate. fish and you, it's yeah. unbelievable. It's such an enjoyable way as well, though, because you're so busy all day. Yeah. You're not just sitting there. I get, I get a bit bored, mate, fishing with pots. When you're just tapping your little pot of bait in. You love it. Stop it. No, you I love don't. tapping I, three, I, I, four pellets. I'd rather get catty out every time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just It's, it's like it was back in the day, wasn't it? When we used to fish Brookside all the time. Last time, can't remember. Ooh, fishing it? casters it's just like across. It. It's, like, like it's how we were brought up. Yeah. And then you went into blooming paste and <laughs> pellets. <laughs> but no, it's just, it's, it's amazing. All times of year, but especially now, as we said, when they're starting waking up. Yeah, it, it's a, the only way you can be aggressive, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I couldn't do this with any other bait. I couldn't do this with pellets or no. maggots of the bait. Because there's so many mouths and they are, we've, we've said it loads, they're just soup. Yeah. I mean, they're soup with a bit of skin on. Yeah. So I like that, that it actually took <gasps> a bit longer to get a bite. That was right at the bottom of that fall then, wasn't it? It is, isn't it? I'm not getting many pulls. No. 
I mean, it, I'm not getting many shallower. now. They're definitely a little bit lower, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, oh Jay! Beautiful. Get off it? that box right it's, now. It is. This isn't, isn't even it? posing for camera, is it? It's it's, just, we've had to go on this before. They weren't there. And it's there's like, nothing there. It's literally, they have just rocked up now, the eye. But it won't be one a chuck, will it? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> no. It'll be like four or five, I'd yeah. imagine. And then it'll go iffy. And then it'll go. That's hide for you though, isn't it, as well, Jay? I think we need to touch on that. Hide, wherever we've been in the country, caught hide, they never ever last all session with no. you, do they? They, they gorge, don't they? But at, at this time of year, I don't mean they gorge, they just they come in, they go out, they come they, in, they go they out. They breed dead early, don't they? They'll be breeding oh, next yeah, month yeah, at yeah. hide. It is, it's spawn. That's a pretty one, that. Oh, mate. Image. Second best in the world. I'm liking them. Right, one more go shallow, and then go I'm going to come red off it. On, see what happens. Red one? Yeah. He's a big fat one. A big are, you not, fat are, you not, are you not side hooking him either? No. Put him on normal? No, I've just... So, for whatever it is at this time of year, little tricks aren't that important, are they, when shallow no, fishing? No, not at all. It's, it's, it's like they just have it, don't they? Yeah. It's only when the, them fussy f one so, They so want bait, they, they want to eat, because they know something's going to happen soon, spring's coming and... You know what I mean? They just want to eat. Yeah, they're livening up. They're but why is it? Why does that happen? Like, even bites. Like, I, I touched on, I don't know whether it was in this video or the, the rig one. If I was to use this rig shallow in the summer, yeah. I would oh, you miss, you miss everything, wouldn't you? Yeah, you just miss a bite after bite after bite. Yeah. A bit like that. <laughs> but for whatever reason, now you can have this rig and it, it's, it's that versatility, isn't it? Yeah. That I can move it up and down on the same rig. Definitely. I'm not going to have 10 top kits with three inch differences on my rigs. And a string That's... of number eights, four inches from your hook. Yeah, or a big On a on. maximum length of 12 <laughs> inches of a line. Yeah, don't need any of it, do you? you can no. have a nice lovely... I bet you catch on that today, though. Jacking. Mate, get what are you on a really maggot for? Right, I'm going to come off it. Putting a white maggot back on? I'm going to go on deck. Oh, well, yeah, what, just to see? Yeah, it's definitely wrong, do you know what I mean? i plug away at this, because even the roach, woohoo, even the roach are bigger on this. Yeah. I mean, only an ounce, but every ounce counts and all that. <laughs> it's like that. But what I'll do, I'll go in with so what you mean, the my strung outy rig. Because of what I've seen, I mean, I've seen that the majority of them bigger fish through the water. are through the water. Yeah, boy. So make that decision. Don't go the complete opposite and try and nail it on the deck when you've seen what's going on. You, yeah. You've seen that them fish are intercepting the bait. Yeah. The big ones are 100% shallow. So you mean use a rig that's going to best of both. Yeah. We'll see, I've gone a bit selective again. I've gone two well, maggots double, on that one again. Double maggot wire on this one? Yeah, just say a bit selective, because I feel I'm going to the little fish. Right, get you. Double might just give me a... You go on, get them. Like, mate, you're looking like me feeding all that bait. It's We've good though, a lot of bait today, haven't we? Getting Dosh. giddy. We'll see, we're back on the indications and not a yes. bite. Back on the little... Eh, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. yeah. Wrong rig. Yeah. You, yeah, you know within a second that you're on the wrong rig. Yes. I mean, a different fish, bit of a smaller one. But if Rich had his doofer on that, I reckon you'll have seen the little indications before I even got a bite. Oh, he's not too little. No, he's all right. You'd have him, wouldn't you? We'd have taken one of them yesterday, wouldn't we, Rich? <laughs> one more. Let's have a look. That's worth mentioning as well, Jay. How are you for, like, fishing around your peg, you know, sort of left and right and then flicking the rig out? Later on, yeah. I think not, you need to fish around for, your bait. But for now, obviously you're getting bites, there's no yeah. point changing that, is it? We're in the bait. The, uh, commercials, it's different, isn't it? Because there's eight billion mouths in your peg. So they're eating everything. Fishing yeah. on the back of it. It might catch you maybe shallow, mm. but when Flicking fishing it. on deck, I'm not too fussed of it. You're not? No, I, I will try and feed, see, I'm just yeah. rigs crap. Yeah. yeah. Missing loads of bites, catching the wrong fish. It proves it, doesn't it? How quickly it's changed, folks. Obviously, from when he was on this rig before, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. 15 minutes ago, maybe, he was getting bites. He yeah. hitting all these. It was five or six bites with fish in the mouth. But now, we know that the shallow rig is, is completely right. That's the right one. Yeah. If, imagine if you were to only have one of the rigs. Yeah. Like, on the on the deck, obviously. No, Jamie, how dare you? I never do that. I'm professional. <laughs> I never slide the float down to the bulk and fish <laughs> oh, shallow on the 414. You, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, it's... mate. 100%. So limited, isn't it? Yeah. You, you have to have that versatility of, of the three rigs. Look, look at what? that. What? Is that your bait? Leave it on for a perch. See if we catch a perch. Yeah. No, in fact, let's, let's go on the river with it. We can catch a tout. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's crazy. Look at the difference. Nuts. Yeah. So Little diddy fish, waste of time. Bottom now, does it? No. And bigger fish all want to be up in the water. 
You doing it? You going back on it? I'm going back on Shella. It's on it, Jay. Go on, lad. So I'm back on Shella rig. Yes. So it is that quick, literally as well. It's. I mean, I'd, I may have made that mistake in a match. I'd happily have a quick Jay, go. You don't make mistakes. No, but you, like you that. do. It's, it's not so much a mistake. It's. I'd have done that in a match, but you've got to come off it quick. Yeah, I may swap between these three rigs. Yeah. 20, 30 times during a match. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's wrong to have a quick go, but you need to evaluate what you've learned from that go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, if you are missing bites, don't blame it on anything. It's just because your rig's wrong. Mm. Yeah, so that's straight back in, bite, fish on. Little fish, but... Because you haven't been feeding it the same, is it? You know yeah. what I mean? It's just had a little... I reckon little potentially vermin. one more little baby fish and then we'll uh, be into the mids again. We'll catch a nid one. Would you put double on ever? Oh, mate. Sometimes shallow, would, would you? Double magawa. The only trouble with doubles, when they're feeding shallow, when they're sort of like... Flashing around, coming into your bait, overfolding, Jay. Yeah, I Proper found that. does your head in. Roots, but with it's definitely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ro roach. Ro roach are the worst in the world for it. And skimmers. Skimmers are a nightmare for it. But folding it but over. Don't, yeah. But definitely side-hooking them, though. I love side-hooking them for coming through the water. Yeah. See, how nice is that going now? That was quick, quick, that, wasn't it? It was. That was a bit higher, that one, wasn't it? That was my first pull that if I've had a bite as it's just ticked over like that. Yes. But see, yeah, it like is that. worth putting the rig in that way every go. So these are a little bit shallow now, aren't they? Yes. Because we've had two bites. Are you in double magawa as well now? No, single. Just in single. So they could be little fish, but they're definitely higher. See oh, that one again? Oh, that was, so that was in here. Do you reckon that fall up, that id? Yeah, but that was a big one, that. So even with this rig, there's another change I can make. It's mad how we can't see them flashing yet, though. No, I'm going to bring that down. Can you see them flashing on Big Doofer, Rich? No. No. I brought that down eight inch. I mean, floating a bit. Get ready time. Just to see, what's my shot doing? Get my shot's happy. So just eight inch off, so I've just missed two bites and foul up one. So take eight inches off and it's just as your conventional shallow fishing. And then this is you. You've got when this you get, option as well, haven't you? It gets even quicker now, doesn't it? Obviously you're going down to where the fish are a lot quicker. Yes. You usually get bites a lot quicker. Well, you find it as well with your shallow line like this, the shallower you can Eesh. get, the bigger the fish go. Crazy, innit? <laughs> oh, go on the heads! Come on the heads! Yeah, eight inches off. And oh, plonk. mate! Honestly, folks, you not understand how hard this is for me to watch. <laughs> it's hurting, Andrew. <laughs> She's doing my head in. <laughs> Honestly, you just want to play. for me. Ah, oh, Jamie. It's very lovely, lovely fishing, isn't it? Jay, once we finish, can we go and put more in that river? <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather do? Have a go on the river or do this? Oh, mate, what do you think? Yeah, river. River. River, river one. But this is, I mean, this is like third or fourth best in the world ever. But you, mate, you don't know what it's like on that river. Yeah. This Nothing. Is good. When, when you suss them out like you have, it's just, you sort of giggle to yourself every time you come back to one, don't you? Because you know how good it is. And You've you like tricked it. it. It's do amazing. You, you feel like you're tricking, especially the shallow fish. Yeah. You're tricking it. It's not like summer where they're, they're swirling for your bait and it's carnage. It's everyone's a, a trap in it. Yeah. And you it's catch a couple and then you've got to move. Same as clean, F1s. Quick wear fishing as well, Jay, isn't it? It's so good when you whack into it and you see that elastic coming out. Well, that was a nasty feed. I didn't like that. Mate. That was a pingy one. Oof. I knew that was going to be a little, little fish. It was one. different, wasn't it? How slow it was, yeah. Well, that's because of my feed because I've not looked after it. Yeah. We're getting a bit giddy chatting. Slow bite, little bobby ones, to yeah. suck the latch. So even with my shallow one, I'm going to have a go at feeding at that before I go out. Yeah, boy. Go on. As long as I group it nice. See, oh, nice. I like Sexy that one, Go on, the heads. Definitely get an head now. Well, folks, you would get an head if he was on a white magawa. <laughs> no, I'm feeling it. it on that stick, Definitely an head on that feed. Perfect. Haven't it? Perfect. About... No. Any time. Well, that's got all the way down oh. and had it. Roach. Look at roach he's had it, I'm joker. <laughs> How good is this? It is proper, isn't like, it? Like, we're so used to like, not getting bites, as I say I am, and it's just amazing to come out and get bites. Yeah. So it's being brave, though, and in the past, I've definitely been guilty of it. What, not putting enough bait in? In not getting catty out. Yes. It's amazing the difference, getting a cast full out and making something happen. Mm. It's a joke, isn't it, the difference it makes? It does happen. It, it, if you just stick with that little pot, you'd never know the potential of your no. peg. Potentially never know the potential. Just draws fishing from everywhere, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Brilliant, it's, it's that 
bait's falling through the water. So he's gone small again. Yeah. So I'm going to go deeper, Andrew. You're going to go deeper? I'm going to go deeper. You're going to put a white maggot on? I'm going to put a white one on. And so I've got to make a change because nothing's... That's it. And this is this is where you are, where you are. It's these changes that you need to do. Go deeper, Back double deeper. maggot, change colour maggot. Another you know 10 I mean? inches deeper. If this don't work, then they're getting double. Just to try and avoid these little fish. Do you know what we ain't caught? We ain't caught a chub on film yet. I thought I was going to catch a chub. Mate, you are straight off that box. Kick me off the box. Chub. Another week or two, casters. Casters would be on one, wouldn't it, as well? Yeah, it's better. A little bit bigger stamp? Yeah, a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. Double magua. And blooming heads though, isn't it? Four or five and then nothing. Yeah. They'll come back though. Definitely, and hopefully some F1s are gonna have a play in a bit. Right, one quick go with double. And then I think we are job done. Just to see. For this, although it's a, a quick rundown of it, sort of. I think within that little segment, we've almost covered everything you, you how can, it does You can behave. gauge, folks, obviously, for, for your session, you can tailor it to suit. We've shown you what happens, um, yeah, you know, when you're starting off on the bottom, what to look for, you know, signs, missing bites and that, uh, what to go on to next, and then, you know, carry on missing bites, what to go on to next, and then you can just, as you said, we've got that one line, and we're fishing all the way through that water column. We're not missing out on anything. Um, you know, obviously, your pleasure session, you won't mind what you catch, just like getting bites, but... You know, obviously matches, we want to try and target the bigger fish, but the way it is at the minute, and this time of year, the little fish, as you've seen, they will attack the bigger fish because they come to that commotion. Yes. They're naturally inquisitive, aren't they, Jay? Mm. Well, they're a lovely way of, when the weights aren't massive now, or they're not going to be if we were fishing matches, they're a lovely way of topping your weight oh, up in that mate, that, that added early right bit. shallow. That, that nailed it. That first go that double that Is that well. double magawa? Yeah. Go on, the ids. Well, what I was saying, that, yeah, it's... Oh. At that start of the, the session, when it is likely to be crap, yeah. the little fish let you put fish in your net. That's I mean, it. it. It's £5, pound, £10, pound. It? it's worth catching, isn't it? Giving you confidence and keeping you warm. Yes. And oh, whether they, they make these feed or not, I don't know. Pardon? I don't know whether the, the little fish make the big fish feed. Are you not convinced? Oh. I'm convinced of that. Oh, yeah. 100%. That's a big id, mate. That's a lovely That's got that. a right belly. He's, I bet he's rough in there. He he's a hybrid. Oh, no, he's an id. He's an id. Is he rough? He's a big, no, he's a fat, sexy one, isn't he? Oh, look at that. He is all fat, isn't he? That's spawning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, boy. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm honestly 100% convinced with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it draws them in. It lets the peg, it helps the peg develop Definitely. where the little fish feed in. Definitely. Especially in the colour of this water as well. They'll, they'll see it and be like, what's going off over there, Roger? Yes. So, I don't know. We're going to have a look, eh? So, with that done, Andrew, hopefully that was a nice little insight. Right now, I feel like I'm about to get kicked off my get box. Get off, very, Jay, my <laughs> dog. <very> quickly. <laughs> but yeah, a typical early season maggot attack and just how flexible you need to be. And you can just catch loads and loads and loads. And it's probably the most enjoyable day you're going to get. As always, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. But please do not forget to like and subscribe. And we will notify you anytime of our craziness on the bank is coming to you.